Well, you know, artificial intelligence is, is very interesting and it's going to have a tremendous impact on medicine. I was visiting um, a dear friend, also a nephrologist in Philadelphia, and she was showing me their new clinic and it, I was just amazed with it. And they have a lot of abilities to use AI to do their notes and so on. So it's definitely going to be and is already part of medicine. I know that some people get very upset with the idea that people are using AI to write their essays and so on. I don't feel so strongly about it. Okay. Long as you make it yours, it needs to be your essay. What I have found over the years, even before AI, is that people get so much help with their personal comments, you know, the long essay. Yeah. Personality comes out of it. It comes across almost like a little CV and it's sort of boring actually. And the person doesn't come across. Right. So I think it's very important when the person writes these essays, both the long essays and then the supplemental essays, that it comes from their heart. It's what they are all about. Um, and it needs to be real. And if if that's the case, and they, they use a little, you know, chat GPT to write it, but then they have to revise it and they have to make it theirs. And, and that's, that's important, actually. And, you know, they need to tell their story. And uh, it, it will be clear if it's a kind of fake that, that will come across and that won't help them. Now, the other thing is they need to be very careful that their grammar is correct, that their punctuation is correct. Uh, you know, we're the University of Pittsburgh, and so Pittsburgh has an H at the end. So, you know, make sure that you spell it correctly, because we kind of uh, think they haven't paid a lot of attention to looking at us and finding out what the school is like, if they're going to spell Pittsburgh incorrectly. So <laughs> these little things uh, count up.